love grows brains. That's probably the phrase that I'm most uh, credited with. I'm so proud of that phrase. It's kind of the core of Roots of Empathy. It's why we use a baby. Because in that first year of life, the loving relationship with a parent or parents is how that baby powers up to be a fearless learner. That literally babies learn through love. That they don't learn much of anything if they're not in a secure, attached relationship. So the attunement of the parent to the baby is what enables the baby to be fearless in how they approach novelty, how they approach people, their belief in themselves and their trust in others. So that loving relationship is basically the conduit to learning. We always try to give our children vegetables, but we don't expect them to show the impact of having peas yesterday in the growth spurt the next day. So in Roots of Empathy, we have great expectations for our children. We know what the research says without question. Children on four continents, when they have roots of empathy, levels of aggression and bullying go down, and children's pro-social behaviors go up. And it's demonstrated in the classroom by teachers telling us and scientists telling us that children are more cooperative, they share better, they care better, and importantly, they include, and they're kinder. But what about long term? People ask us about long term, and we only have evidence for three years out. But it's interesting, when our brains change, our behavior changes. So in Roots of Empathy, what happens is children's brains actually change. And it sounds quite alarming, but if you think of it this way, when you see someone about to jam their finger in a door, we wince because we can feel it. So what's happening is mirror neurons in our brain are allowing us to imagine how that person feels and to have that same feeling. So the centers in our brain, this is a neuroscience study, the centers in our brain that respond to pain light up simply because we know what that person would feel if they jammed their finger in the door. But on the lovely side of it, when the children around the green blanket are coached to observe the relationship between the parent and the baby, their mirror neurons are experiencing love, they are experiencing touch, they are experiencing whatever the parent is sharing with that baby. It's why very often we see joy. It's why Sue Carter, who's a neuroscientist, says that she imagines, and she'd love to do research on it, that the hormone oxytocin is very high around the green blanket. And that's the feel-good hormone because our brains respond positively and mirror what is going on between the parent and the baby, which is why you really have to have an attuned relationship.